Those times when you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination. To the channel, this is Rashad Jordan, aka RJ Wisdom. Go ahead and give me a like, a subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at RJ Wisdom. Now, this channel is going to be a new channel for 2022 to help you reach your fitness goals and your self-development goals as I go through the journey as a witness. So you can see someone who starts there and goes to that next level. You guys can rise with me, we can rise together. Let's get it, okay. So this video I'm gonna be talking about how I lost 25 pounds in three months. Before that, I was already training, but I didn't train with no plan. I was just going to the gym and everyone started their their transformation in 2022. I want to save you time to avoid the struggles I had to go through. We're going to make this a quicker, quicker routine for you guys so you guys can get that body that you want. Lose the weight you want to lose. Male, female, let's go ahead and get it. So step number one, and the biggest thing to understand, is calories in, calories out. Any diet you want to use, that's your choice, but understand it's about the calories you're consuming versus the calories you're expending in a day. You need a deficit. Body fat is what's covering your muscles. We all have muscle, we all have a physique, we all have abs, but it's covered by body fat. So you have to remove that body fat. Now for me, what I did particularly, I set my calories at 2,000, and that's what I've kept them at the entire time. And I've been losing weight steadily, and when I got stuck, what I did next was, was step number two. I started to do cardio. So you want to do cardio. Cardio, you can do hit cardio, you can do steady state. I recommend steady state. You want to do something that is not too hard on the body. So I'll walk on the treadmill. You want to you want to be at a pace that's hard enough that you can't do it all day, but also to where you can recover and still train properly. Now, I'll rec I recommend walking more than running, because running for most people gonna leave you sore and not able to perform the next day. Riding on the stationary bike is too easy and it's not as efficient as walking on the treadmill. Do an incline, do a walk that's hard enough that you feel like you're pushing yourself. And I recommend doing it at least 30 minutes, at least three to five times a week to start. And once you stagnate, you can add more and go harder. If you like to run, you can run. But that, that's what I did, I walked. And it helped me when I got to, I started out at 210. When I got to 195 is when I started to do the cardio. And I had to, I started on the stationary bike and switched over to the treadmill to keep the weight going down. I'm not done losing weight, but I'm showing you how I lost this first 25 pounds. Walking on the treadmill is easy. I'm not gonna stop doing that. I also use my fitness pal. That's, that's what I use to track my calories. So all you guys, don't know where to track, I should throw that in. My fitness pal, I recommend using. If you have any questions on it, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will answer that question. Or I can make a video showing you how to use it if you don't understand. The next thing that I did was I had a stable workout routine. Now we all work out differently. You don't have to work out like somebody else. And that's where I went wrong. I was trying to look on YouTube by other people of how they're working out and trying to copy, but I don't like their styles. Their styles sometimes make me not want to go to the gym. And that's obviously the last thing you want. You want to at least be in the gym, right? So what I did personally, if you want to do, this is very, I think it's the easiest way personally. You might want to condense some of the days if you're not a big gym person like me that likes to be in the gym. I like to be, I like to be, I like to give myself that task to do every day. So I did back, chest, legs, and I repeated that. I went to the gym every day if I missed a day because of work or some kind of activity that would take me away. It didn't bother me because I knew I'm gonna continue to go. If there was no excuse, I was there. So that's how I went. And you wanna do progressive overload. You wanna, whatever weight that you're doing, you don't wanna be doing that same weight nine months, 10 months later. You wanna constantly be trying to improve the weight. So I recommend doing the same kind of workouts. Find the ones you like, to the, to work out those body parts and try to constantly improve on them. And that will help you build your muscle. Another thing that I did was I increased my protein intake. 
never been a big protein eater. So I increased my protein intake. Increasing my protein intake will help me keep the muscle that I built and help me build new muscle as I go in a calorie deficit. Also protein is hard to digest in the body, it takes more energy. So you're also helping increase a calorie deficit for yourself. Finally, the last, the last advice I'm gonna have is don't let a bad day stop you. There was plenty of days I went where I could have trained harder and I know I left and I trained my hardest, but the point is that you went. Don't be in a rush to do this. This is your New Year's resolution. This is the change in your lifestyle. This is a permanent. So the changes you make, you want to keep them permanently. You know, you don't want to do this for two months and do and make all this progress just to go back and gain it all back or gain more. You want to find a routine that works for you. Eat foods that you enjoy to eat, but track your calories. Know, know the limit. Make a certain sacrifice. You have to be willing to give up some things sometimes. If you want to eat a, a chocolatey filled snack, understand that that might be high to calories. You might, not, you, might, you might not be able to eat as much that day. And you might feel hungry eating like that. So you have to make the choice of what you want for real. Working out, it's easy to say a lot of us say we want it, a lot of us say we don't have time, but you got time. You have time. And don't make no excuse. Go to the gym. It ain't that hard. Even if it's a shitty performance, you go in there and you train. That's what I did. If I didn't want to go, I was still there. And over time, I built that love for the gym. I recommend finding channels like this one and others where they talk about fitness that have a love for fitness. It will help inspire you to want to go. Find that motivation. Find people that, that inspire you to want to work out like I did for myself. Fitness, it's a lifestyle. It is not a, a quick trip. And don't forget that. Exercise is tribute to the heart. It's tribute to your life. Always strive to be your best self. This has been RJ Wisdom, Rashad. Subscribe to the channel. I hope to see y'all again. I'm out.